It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. I say it's time for something very special. Sports? <laughs> oh. I, I was thinking of a special early edition of the Ace Cosby joke of the day, ah. ladies and gentlemen. That's right. These aren't really well, jokes. I guess it is special. Uh, here on the Bob and Tom Show, our engineer is Ace Cosby. Uh, let's, make, let's make a dream come the, true. Uh, the great mellifluous voice. <laughs> well, you know, times are tough. Yeah. Uh, Disneyland sure. shut down. Disneyland is shut so, down. So Mickey Mouse started driving an Uber. Wow. Ah. You know what kind of car Mickey Mouse drives? <laughs> what? Oh, what? A minivan. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> they actually do have minivans. Mini, Minnie's his <laughs> wife, you see. Yeah. No, I mean, or maybe girlfriend. I don't right. know. I'm yeah, not sure what the relationship is. Uh, she had an affair with Goofy, there. though, right? Yeah. 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 No, no, no. No, it's not quite what was said That's before. not the joke. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Although, they, they, they were in a canoe. And, no, uh, wait a minute, that involves a beer. Room. A gin from South Africa called Indoluvu is made with elephant dung. Yummy. Paula and Les Ansley... Professors of biology moved from the UK to South Africa and came up with a way to contribute to conservation efforts in the region and support the local community by distilling gin. They created Idolavu gin infused with infused with botanicals forged by elephants and sourced from their poop. So what that means is <laughs> Yeah, we know what it means. <laughs> the dung is dried, goes through a sanitation process, Tom, before it's rinsed. Face. Not enough for me. Dried again, <laughs> says Ansley, making it entirely safe to drink. Yeah. Might be easy. Hey, uh, Indugu, just go spread the poop on that canvas. We'll let the sun hit it and sterilize it. Indugu. Uh, it's a movie <laughs> reference. I know. Okay, well, um, that's a little rough. You're not going to try the... Elephant dung gin, uh, I take it. We tried the... Do you remember we tried the civet coffee? Yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah, they brought it in. What'd you think of it? Coffee. This was coffee filtered through cats. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's it's a it's a Tastes like it's shit. a wild cat yeah. and they <laughs> and the um the beans are eaten by the cat the cats and mm -hmm. partially digested. I'm not sure why this is and then it, but the coffee was the most expensive coffee around and yeah. I I don't know, I didn't know it did, but it's just weird. And they do the same thing where they pick it out of their dung. But there is also a coffee made in Thailand called Black Ivory. It's, uh, it's, this says it's only served at four resorts around the world, mm. three in the Maldives and one in Thailand. And it's Thailand, excuse me. And it's made, it's made, that's made from also uh, elephant dung. The coffee. Well, the coffee. It's not yeah. really made from elephant dung. It's made from beans that the elephants have. Shat out? Yes, and then they clean the beans. Shat and then... out. Shat it out loud. <laughs> I used to always call it the radio it's a kiss tribute. <laughs> trying to get a shout out. <laughs> oh, that is, that just seems a little bit disgusting to me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, it's rough. Yeah. I mean, would you say, hey, this corn. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> hey, hello, Bob and Tom Show. Hey, Bob and Tom Show. Jumbo, do you have food? Hey, Jumbo. Hey, Jumbo. I, I'm just reading about this uh, black ivory coffee. It's uh, made with elephant dung, and oh. as, as is this in in lovu gin um which is uh, this says botanicals foraged by elephants are you are you on the payroll here absolutely man this is so awesome you know you know how they call uh, they call oil black gold this is brown gold baby oh. 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 Now this, you're probably you're probably wanting to make some kind of dumb joke about people drinking this and getting Face, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. very good, very good. You talk about, yeah, getting poop faced. Yeah. Oh, no. Hardy heart. I am making a load of money. Oh. It's it so great. You guys really got to try this stuff. I guess uh, I'm not a drinker myself, but I guess they say it's pretty good. No. I don't know. Last time I drank elephant gin, elephant poop gin, I uh, browned out. So. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, baby. That's a good one, Willie. Thank you so much, Jumbo. I can use a little more of that around here. Thanks, Paul. Oh, this says uh, the gin tastes like extract of... Of uh, roots, grasses, fruit, and bark. Oh, that's big, because that's what elephants eat. Yeah, because yeah. that, I mean, you know, to an elephant, that sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. yeah. You guys like uh, roots and bark? Yeah, I thought you were more of a burger guy. I, well, yeah, man. <laughs> uh, uh, what are your top three pieces? <laughs> oh, top three pizzas. Go ahead. <laughs> top three pizzas. Anything 
that somebody will give me because I cannot pick up a pizza with these pads. Oh, okay. Okay. That is a bummer. So that's number one. Yeah. I have not had pizza. You guys, yeah. is pizza good? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you've never had pizza. Plus, it's got a handle on the box. He can't pick it up. Yeah, yeah what am I going to do? You know, you walk around. I tried to pick one up one time. I walked around with pizza foot all day. Oh, oh. that's embarrassing. <laughs> at, least it, at least it was round. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, this says, by the way, that the black ivory coffee is the most expensive coffee in the world. Uh, and once again, made with beans eaten and digested by elephants in Thailand. Mm -hmm. um, it's $1,100 per kilogram. Crazy, right, this, man? So a cup, a cup of it's 50 bucks, it says here. 50 bucks? Yeah, Here's well. the cool thing, though. The more you drink that coffee, the more I can make. Yeah, that's okay. true. Oh. Wow. I wonder if 50 huh. bucks is for the grande, the venti. <laughs> or just a tall. Or the tall. Yeah. Or the we're going to need a knife. If <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I thank you, Jumbo. You Right here. Thank, you. Oh, oh, thank you, Jumbo. He's making money right now. Okay. All right. Time hey, to you go. guys, they might call it a martini, but you have some of my stuff. It's going to be a mar real biggie. Okay. Supposed <laughs> <laughs> to not, not teeny. I, I got to go take a dump because time is money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure it is. Well, let's move forward here. Christy Lee, what have you got over there? Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. A man from Cumming, Georgia, has been arrested I'm for sorry, trespassing. From where? Cumming, Georgia. How do you spell it? C U M M I N G. Get your cha ching. Yeah, you guys. Come and go. We've there all it heard is. of it. They, he was arrested for <laughs> trespassing naked through a neighbor's backyard. <laughs> According to the Forsyth Herald, a resident reported seeing a nude man on their security camera January first. The man allegedly committed a lewd act. Happy New Year! Years. You want some of this? <laughs> Front porch who, before who leaving. On his, on their porch? Yes. Oh. A lewd act on his on their porch. Yeah, the complainant added that they had video, which was captured back in April, of the same man walking in the nude through their backyard. What a creep. Joel Tolliver subsequently turned himself in to authorities at the Forsyth County Sheriff's Office. Sorry. The 51-year-old was charged <laughs> with public indecency and criminal trespass. Pat, what are you doing? Oh, 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 you got a song. I got one of those, like, Legend of kind of songs. Oh, oh okay. great. Tribute to the man, you know. <laughs> you can't stop the man from coming, walking in your backyard nude. Try and stop the man from coming, he's going to do something lewd. <laughs> Came on your porch and left a present. They got it on video. <laughs> Caught in the act of coming, man. Now, uh, it's now, coming, uh, it's coming, uh, not uh, coming. What, what, coming, what coming. Yeah, that's what I it's said. It's coming, Georgia. I thought it was now, a human. Uh, coming is it is if they make engines or something. <laughs> Now off to jail he goes. They finally stopped the man from coming. Stop the man from coming. He was handed a nasty summons and off to jail he goes. The coming man. Coming. It's coming. I said coming. That, that, that is a song for the coming man. Chris, yes. did you, I don't know if you have this. Did they print this in the morning or the evening edition of their newspaper? I don't. They didn't. It doesn't say if they printed in the coming early or coming late. <laughs> I couldn't even get it out. You can't stop the man from coming. What kind of town's doing evening the coming, papers. The coming early edition. Funny enough, all guys on the cover. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really? There are some women who don't even get it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Sort of pathology. God, can you imagine being from coming, Georgia, and dealing with that all your life? Nope. I know. I get it. Thank you. You ever been to the coming fall festival? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like going to a Gallagher show. Uh, you see the coming? I had fun, but last year they sat me in the splash zone. They had to get oh, one of those. Have production. you actually been there? To coming Georgia? No, yeah. I don't think so. You have to drive through pre-seminal fluid, Georgia. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't think so. I think that's I not don't right. think so. I don't think so. I don't think that's very that is That is not the possible name of a town. <laughs> not even close. There's no, coming, so, that's a yeah. single entendre, which yeah. doesn't You're count. Right. That's not it. It's, everyone knows it's called foreplay, Georgia, Josh. That's the thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. You should know um, that, being a thorough one. Want to say hi to another trucker? Uh, we got, squeezed this one in earlier. Kevin Smickless. Smickless? What? Smickless. Got no Smickless. Get in here. <laughs> I say, Smickless. You're fired. What do you think they called him in school? <laughs> <laughs> I think I can figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Rough playground. Yeah. I, bet he, 
Yeah. You know, I've got one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's I, there. Yeah, all right. It's R- Nicholas. Richard wasn't in his name. Okay, yeah. yeah. I wish his name was Nicholas Mickless. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> That'd be fun. Maybe he has a child named Nicholas Mickless. That's <laughs> funny. I, I hope doubt, so. doubt if he has a kid named Dick, though. That would be the... <laughs> Dick's Mickless. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the sequel to Nicholas Nickleby, wouldn't it? Smickleless Spickleby? No. Spickleby? No. I got a request for something that has to be performed live. What oh. is that? This is the week. Is it the Cisco hit horn? Cisco kid horn part? Oh, isn't that great? <laughs> uh, uh, no, it's um. Uh, they want to hear from Aruba Ray. <gasps> oh, um, well, we might be able to get him in here. <laughs> uh, it's the spring planting season for this truck driver. <laughs> spring planting, planting. Uh, uh, where do you think? They oh, get and he's the answering baby? a question. Oh, we had a news story. I want to say yesterday that said that apparently. The regular commercials being broadcast during the Super Super Bowl this year will not include Coca Cola or Pepsi. Yeah. But apparently Pepsi is going to sponsor the halftime show, so I don't know why that made any sense. But I was I, my joke was not joke. I just said this must be a great day for RC Cola. They can finally get in there. Yeah. yeah. Um. Apparently, Seven uh, Up owns RC Cola. Oh, really? Okay. We I don't, don't know. That's what this guy says. I don't know. Gotcha. You ever, you ever call Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pecker? You ever do that? No. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> you should try that. Ice my no, son. Don't call, him, don't call him Mr. Pepper. He gets really pissed. He sure Mr. does. I'm he, a doctor, Jim. He went to Pepper school for four years. <laughs> yeah. I call him Dr. Pecker. I call him Mr. Prick. <laughs> Mr. Prick. No, that's Mr. Pib. <laughs> yeah. Not even close. That's as oh, bad as your seminal joke. Not even, not, there's what no double entendre. What is happening in here today? <laughs> I'm not working... Harder, just working smart. <laughs> That's right. No, He's got no, it all no. figured out. No. But. <laughs> You're not working hard enough or smart enough. <laughs> this is what we're doing here. Uh, well, we were going to get a story out of Chris Lee, but, but hey, look at me. Hey, it's hey, Aruba Ray. Ray. Nice to see you all. Hey, buddy. Hey, Ruba, I, I, I'm missing a friend of mine. What do you think happened to her? Well, <laughs> for the right price, I can tell you. Give some closure to her folks. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Guess what I've been up to? What have you been up to? Well, uh, we're now at my uh, at Aruba Rays, where you can get all the top drinks and all the top appetizers. You can also get the vaccine. Oh, oh, really? oh wow. That's right. But is it warm or cold? Oh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> we've heard it's best injected hot. <laughs> oh, the hot injection. Aruba Ray, I have a question for you. Yes. There's a football game this weekend between Tampa Bay and Green Bay. Given that your name rhymes with that, do you have any skin in the game? Well, considering I'm no longer allowed in either... Either city. <laughs> <laughs> For reasons I can't disclose. Uh-huh. <laughs> But I am a bookie, Willie, if you want to place some bets. Oh, oh, really? That's right. What are the odds you're offering? I'm offering. How many How many points are you giving away in each game this weekend? No, I don't mess with all that complicated stuff. Oh, how do you do it? It's an easy bet. You give me 20 bucks, you tell me who's going to win, <laughs> and enjoy the game, Willie. <laughs> okay, thanks, Ruby Ray. This is Tom speaking. Then we have uh, (laughs) Pat Godwin, once again, who (laughs) looks like he's an accountant at uh, (laughs) some outdoor event in Alaska. Cold in there, is it, Pat? A touch. Okay, okay. Um, And then we have the two blondes. Christy Lee is back there. I can see her. She's in the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom here in the Bob and Tom Show. And then um, this came up in a meeting the other day, Allie. Um, yeah, we were uh, talking to a guy who's helping us out with some of the uh, <laughs> some of the stuff for the uh, television version of this program. Yeah, and the various yes. things that we feed out there. And uh, he said when I was he wanted to work on the the background of where Allie is, and uh, we pointed out that <laughs> well you're going to need at least <laughs> at least eight of them because she calls from different places every day. Uh, so where you should are get we, a green screen background. Where yeah. are you today? <laughs> I'm in Atlanta. I'm back okay. in New York tomorrow. Okay. All right. Uh, um, and yep. Al- Allie Breen uh, is a uh, uh, single gal, apparently. Are you, are you, are you still seeing, uh, what's his name? Uh, are we? Yeah, uh, I'm, s- okay, I'm you- still seeing him, but okay. I still consider myself single for okay. now. Okay, very good. And, yeah. uh, and your expertise is in the world of dating. Uh, yes. Of sorts. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, <laughs> people send you letters by going to your various social media platforms. Allie Breen is A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N. What have you got for us? Dear Allie, I went through my boyfriend's phone while he passed out drunk the other night. Perfect. Just just a tip. If you hold up someone's phone to their face when they sleep, it will open. Mm. 
Oh, that's oh. Awesome. Yeah, there we go. Everyone better be frightened in their sleep now. There was no evidence of actually cheating, but some very flirty texts with friends of his. Should I bring it up immediately or just keep monitoring for worse? Oh. Yeah, yeah, bring it up and start by yes. saying, this is hey, already... when you were passed out, oh I used your God. phone. Yeah, this is already bad, Josh. You want to take this? I, no, I'm not uh, giving this woman any of my uh, energy or thoughts <laughs> oh. at all. <laughs> Don't look at somebody's phone. That's their business, not yours, lady. If he's cheating on you, you deserve it. I am surprised it opens it. up. <laughs> you should be che- you should be cheated on, ma'am. Uh, Next, I, I have a question. <laughs> Would you ever look at your girlfriend's phone, Josh? Was this sitting no. there open? Nope. I Never. have a question. Oh. Um, I asked this before and didn't get a solid answer. In the world of COVID, mm-hmm. where you have to wear masks all the time, can you have your facial recognition work with just? the mask on. God, you ask this every time this yeah, comes up and Willie really really tells you time and time again. No. I know you can do it with sunglasses. I'm not sure about a face mask. I'd imagine you could. No, you could probably program it. You'd probably have to reset your Start whole over, phone. Yeah. Right, and, that's it. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah no, exactly. but My question is, I, I didn't phrase it properly. Can you have multiple? Yes. Those, could you have, okay, yes. it'll either open oh. for the one with the glasses, yes. the one with the face mask. <laughs> yes. How, how do you do that? Wait. Just, I'll show your phone after the break. Just okay, keep asking you. the question, though. It's helpful. <laughs> well, there may so be people out there multiple. who are asking the same question. I apologize. Uh, and for, they can use Google to figure it out. Yeah, they wouldn't mm-hmm. ask us. Thank you for apologizing. Well, then why should we bother doing the show, then, if they can just Google jokes? And how it works. We create hey, jokes. You might be onto something here. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, so uh, wait. I have a question then. If you can do multiple face recognitions to get in, if this girl got into her boyfriend's phone, could she set her own face as one of them? Yep. If you have the password, you can. Wow. Do it. You sure can. All right. Will you, you, you look There's so disgusted. Tip. No, I'm just trying to... How could we be it. so ignorant? <laughs> oh, no, I think he's more disgusted than anybody who would do that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, that is just total lack of trust. That is... A hundred percent. Why yeah. in the hell yeah. do you have a relationship with this man? I hope he's cheating you. on you with, the, with your best friend. <laughs> I hope your life crumbles. <laughs> God. What if there were multiple pictures of male genitalia on that phone? <laughs> that would be yeah, Honestly, that's his business. Well, but yeah. I, well, oh, okay, but I... I hope sorry. they're of her dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I think we're done here. We've done some good work. <laughs> Allie, I want to change topics quickly. Have sure. you ever, Have you ever... We've been asking people this. Have you ever gotten on an elevator or been on an elevator and someone famous is on it with you? On an elevator? Yeah. No. No? Never. Has that happened to you guys? Oh, sure. Yeah. Seems like yeah. the odds would be pretty slim. Tom, no, they never. are slimmer than Tom wants to Tom think. thinks it is. Uh, <laughs> happens we have day. dozens Comedy. of letters here. Yeah, dozens. Yeah, out of uh, how many listeners? <laughs> yeah, millions. Millions, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's my fault. One time I was on an elevator with a guy that I thought was Rob Reiner. I said that. I shouldn't have said a thing. I shouldn't have said anything about it. Oh, and it wasn't him? Uh, I, 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 I just said that the other day. I, I think it was him. I didn't sure talk to him. him. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Rob's, yeah. a, Rob's a cool, nice guy. We no, I'm sure him. he is, but I'm not going to bug him on an elevator. I would you know? think, Allie, with all your travels in the world of showbiz, you've never been on she an elevator. She said el- no. Not an <laughs> elevator. <laughs> she said no. <laughs> I've been in airport lounges with famous people, but in an elevator, you're only in an elevator with like one person or three or four. Yeah, the odds uh, Well, uh, looks like Pete was on an elevator with Jerry Lewis. Hi, man. Oh. Um, Jerry Lewis so was this that? was quite a while ago. Huh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wait, um. I take it back. I was in an elevator once with um, Chuck Zito. Who's that? Yeah. Does anyone? He's he some like... He invented the pasta? Um, <laughs> that's Zito. No, that's Zito. Zito. That's Zito. Oh, sorry. Former, former talk. Yeah, boy. Was, I love Zito's nephew thing. that smokes weed. Baked Zito. Oh. <laughs> Everyone in the elevator had to explain who he was to me then, too. He's someone to do with the MMA. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. There we go. There. That's as good as it's gotten. For okay. Me. I was hoping we'd have something really good there, but I went fishing and came up short. Nothing. Oh, back to, back to the mailbag. Next time, have some good bait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the lure, maybe. <laughs> well, Josh, back to the mailbag. Jo- Josh has dirty, never met way. anybody famous in elevator because, as you can see, Josh always takes the stairs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's yes. I'm over the max cap of most elevators. Otis is you worst are nightmare. such Boy, a mean. When they have gets- to. 
put me in a dumpster and crane me to my floor. When he gets in this area of his brain, that's the only uh, thing right. he can go to. I'm often harnessed to a Tom helicopter. So hard. It's She's like a when bully. they move cattle, Ellie. And, or when you, you ever seen them save a horse in a river? <laughs> <laughs> or, or relocate a, a baby orca. Oh, You know. With the pictures of water. Oh, yeah. Keep it Keep it sorry. I apologize. That was, that was me. No, you don't. Well, he was being mean to me. He was not. He was. Stupid question. question. What if Allie had said, oh, yes, I was on an elevator with Jerry Seinfeld, then you guys would have been riveted. <laughs> I, you know I what? still we wouldn't would have, have been. Listened, yeah. I still wouldn't have been riveted. <laughs> One more quick one, Allie. <laughs> Dear Allie, uh, I've been dating. I've been dating my girlfriend for almost a year, and she's now twice gotten plastic surgery without telling me. She literally just showed up with a new face and didn't mention it. When I asked if she did something differently, she said no, even though literally she had lips like Daffy Duck. What level of crazy is this? Hi. Uh, and that's what's it's a very common level of crazy, actually, right now. Did Pat just say hi? Yeah, that's a high level, I think. <laughs> Den denying. Should you ask some? I mean, oh, should I you ask? Pat said hi, like, hey. No, no, no. No, 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 like, high that's level. a high level of crazy. Like, like, no, I mean, yeah. I might be. Uh, you so you should ask say, your significant other first? Or say something. It's your call. If uh, it's going to make you feel better about yourself, that's fine. What he's but, complaining about. I, I think I could work with lips like Daffy Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Do guys like that look? No, I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't get I wouldn't mind a bill job. <laughs> <laughs> Put this on my bill, baby. Bill. Put this on the bill. Well, on that note, Allie, I bill. hope, bill that you've, I hope that. you've come to the conclusion that it's time to end this forever. <laughs> yes. oh, okay. No, not forever. Not forever. We, got, we need you back next okay. week. Okay, Allie yeah. Breen oh, yeah, is, is, is found at A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N, and she's found in a city near you on any given week. Yes. We have no idea where she is. You might be in an elevator with yeah. her. You never know. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that exactly. Everybody all the time. An elevator. Hope you meet someone famous in an elevator. Thank you, Allie. Oh, bye, guys. Bye. 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 Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.